lovely witches welcome to a new video my name is christy and i'm back yay i'm finally out of the hospital and i have recovered quite well i'm still not through with stuff i'm still recovering but you know i'm better now i can move again <laughs> so it's fine um because i had some time on my hand i've read some books therefore today we're gonna do some book recommendations but or better book reviews <laughs> okay let's start with the first book the crooked path by Keldon this is uh, the book it is a quite lovely book it is put into four parts five parts I'm sorry it's put into five parts and um, what I really like about it is that after the content we have a list of exercises. Quite um, a long list. With the page where you find those and so on. So that's quite nice. Um, the Crooked Path is a book about traditional witchcraft. This book is um, basically an introduction to traditional witchcraft. We have some definition to what traditional witchcraft is and um, some history behind it. We have some typical traditional tools, magical basics, rituals, spellcrafting, um, ancestors, the other world, engaging with the land, plants, stones, animals and so forth. So going a little bit through the uh, different aspects that are part of traditional witchcraft. It is just um, an introduction book therefore it just brushes over them and give you a sneak peek into the different aspects of traditional witchcraft. Therefore I do recommend this one for beginners or those who are interested in traditional witchcraft and would like to take a look into it. Um, I personally do like this book. For me personally uh, it's quite interesting and it does have some interesting points and exercises um, that I also marked. I, you can probably see that <laughs> around here. Um, yeah, well that is just my opinion. And let me know in the comments what your opinion is on this book, if you've read it, and if you're a traditional witch, what other book recommendations you have. Sure thing, that kind of depends on the tradition, and that's also a disclaimer. This one is kind of also traditional neutral as far as possible, you know. Um, it doesn't focus on a specific tradition here, it's just general what is traditional witchcraft, what belongs to traditional witchcraft. Just so you know. Okay. The next book is Botanical Curses and Poisons. This book is written by Fats Inkwright. I hope you can read it. It is a lovely hardcover book I got. I just find it extremely pretty. <laughs> and um, the content doesn't disappoint either. Um, just so you know, it's like nothing in the... This is poison and you have to use this amount to do this and that. Um, that's not that type of book. This book is plainly history about poisons used by people in magic and medicine. Mainly medicine because it was kind of one thing, you know. But yeah, we get a lot of history in here. And uh, quite funny stories, I must say. I did find them amusing. And um, in the back, at this point, so this part is history and this 
this part is herbs from or plants from ATZ. And we get a little history, a little poem every now and then about this herb. Some pictures which are not um, accurate and it is also um, exclaimed that those should not be taken as reference pictures. But they write a little bit about it and it's an alphabetical order and how I said a little bit about the plant. So it is quite nice, I must say, I really do like it. Um, and it is interesting to read a little bit about history and um, symbolism behind the different plants that are considered poisonous. And, or not just poisonous, but healthy and poisonous, for example, the apple, which was like the first plant that showed up. Yeah. I really like this book. It's quite amusing and fascinating. It's literally just research and entertainment, if you like, um, because of the historical stories <laughs> that are told. And um, if you're into that and would like a little bit more, to, like, like to know a little bit more about um, also the darker aspects of plants and a little bit about the history about them, then this is the book for you. If you have this book, if you read this book, let me know in the comments what you think, because that is only my opinion. And that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it and that you found it helpful. If you have any more questions or recommendations, write them down in the comments. And that is it from my part. I hope you have a lovely week and month. We will see each other at the end of the month again. Videos are uploaded every second Wednesday, twice a month. So I hope I see you there if you're new to the channel. And yeah, stay magical, keep reading and see you then. Bye!